Got a 2007 stretched out Peter built a new 3406 The cat likes a pull Flying down the interstate 13 on the stick I got a stack of paper logs Like we used to use yesterday When we still drove our trucks with pride But now they cut back My horse has got an e-log on the dash Now I'm always running behind here we are for the next segment. We're with, I got to look at it because I'm going to say it wrong anyways. It's Ryan Kaiser, right? Is yeah, that, okay, close right. enough, right? <laughs> and it's more. driver development. Um, I have no idea what driver development is, so we're going to let Ryan tell us all about it. Hi, how are you? Uh, driver development is what we do is we have um, the school down the road. Um, I'm sure you passed it when you came in off 33rd. Um, where they get their CDLs, and then once they get their CDL, they come to Michelle, who you just talked to, for orientation. Uh, and then after orientation, we get them out with trainers. So we've got. So it's basically between. all the new drivers that are just getting Correct. their driver's license. Okay. Right. So our job is to set them out with a trainer, get their mileage. Uh, they usually do 10,000 miles um, in order to graduate. So we get them set up with a trainer. Uh, but in the meantime, they have a driver advocate that takes care of everything that they do. So. When they first come here, we get them their dorm room, we get them their food vouchers, um, we get all their information. If they're a smoker, non-smoker, if they'll go with a smoker, <clears throat> any details that'll help us pairing them up with a trainer. So once we do that, <clears throat> we have um, a classroom um, where we put them out. So while they're waiting for a trainer, we put them in a classroom and they're going to go over logs, they're going to go over Qualcomm, um, anything that they need to know, map planning, trip planning. Um, rules of the road, anything that can help them when they go out with a trainer is what we're doing. So in the meantime, that way they're learning something um, about trucking before we can get them with the trainer. Once we get them a trainer, um, we give them a call, they meet with the trainer, and then they go out. So for the first 5,000 miles, they do all solo miles. So the trainer's in the passenger seat the entire time, helping them with backing, shifting, everything to be a, a professional truck driver. Once they get their 5,000 miles, um, we do a review with the trainer, see how they're doing. If there's anything that needs to be improved or cleaned up or if there's any other issues, um, once that is done, then is what we'll do is they can go into team mode. Um, that's specifically the trainer's idea um, if they want to do it or not. If they don't, we'll just do the 10,000 miles and it's all solo. Um, but in the meantime, if they want to team, then they can team um, and get done a little faster. Um, and then once they get to 10,000 miles, we'll bring them back in. Um, they'll get with safety, they'll do a road test, final road test. Um, and then they'll be a professional truck driver once they graduate. That's when, that's when they get assigned their own truck. Correct. And they get to do their big oh, truck driving thing. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. All right, so one of the questions um, I have for you is because I'm hearing from a few drivers that there seems to be a bit of a, a waiting period from graduating to actually getting in a trainer. Do we have a shortage of trainers? Or? Um, it goes in spurts. I mean, we had, um, right now, we, on average, about a, a two to three day wait for trainers here. Um, usually, I mean, that's during the week. I mean, weekends we can't, you know, if we don't have them paired up by Friday. Yeah. Um, but usually it's two to three days here. Different terminals are a little longer, Laredo. It's just harder to get trucks down to Laredo. Um, but here it's about two to three days um, okay. to get them out with the trainer. Um, so, I mean, it's it's not that we have a shortage. We're always looking for new trainers, um, new mentors um, to try to give back, you know, because everybody started off um, not knowing what they're doing as a truck driver at one point and they had that mentor or somebody that helped yeah. them through it. So that's what we're looking for. Um, do the trainers go through any kind of a training program themselves? They do, they do. We put them through a training program, kind of go over our rules and uh, procedures, everything that we want them to teach them. Um, and then once they do that, um, we kind of monitor them that way, put them on a probationary period. Um, we look at, um, there's a pay scale different for, for trainers. So um, if you're graduating them on time, if you're, um, bringing them back and they need remedial training, we talk to them. Um, we've got a old, in the classroom, he's a former instructor himself, so he knows what to look for. Um, and we monitor it that way. And if we have to mentor the trainer as well, um, to make sure that they're better and helping out with the trainings. All right, awesome. So now the whole time that, let's say, they finish the school and they're waiting for a trainer to sell it on, still take care of them as far as hotel, food, oh, et cetera, so yep. they're not left Correct. out in the dark Correct. type deal? Yeah. <laughs> So we, we're still going to lodge them and uh, give them uh, food as well. So that's that goes even if they're not in Indianapolis. If we have to put them in a hotel room, we'll pay for the hotel room. We'll pay for their food. Um, in the meantime, we're waiting for a trainer. Okay. Well, thank you very much, no uh, Ryan. Thank you. Really appreciate that. Hopefully appreciate uh, the drivers it. have a better understanding of what goes on.
All right. Thank, Thank you. you.